Hello? Is anyone here? Oh. I wasn't sure I was in the right place. I'm not really sure what. Is there something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. Was I staring? I don't know. Were you? You really have very stunning features. I mean, really very striking. Oh, thank you. Really, thank you. I, I made quite a spontaneous decision with my hair recently, and the compliments keep coming in, so thank you. I I'm not sure why I didn't do it sooner. This is you, isn't it? Uh, no. No, that's not me. No. That isn't you. Oh. <laughs> OK. Um, oh, I could have sworn I had you. Um, must be the new look. Must be. Um, could you help me? <laughs> yeah. This. Oh. Oh, there I am. Oh, so it is. Ah. Oh, please. Mm. You've done a few things. Cleopatra, Juliet. Yeah, I've been fortunate. Trying to make a name for yourself can be tough. Must be even tougher as, you know, being a black actress. Oh, oh, I'd rather not be seen as just that. You have to commodify yourself. I mean, your look is your brand. I like to think my talent is my brand. Can you tell me a bit more about the project? My agent didn't give me much information. Just said it was a very exciting project and the whole city would be there. Sounds like a wonderful opportunity to be part of something special. Yes, it is. I work very closely with the artist. Part of my responsibility is making sure that we get the, the right people on board for the project. What's the project? It really falls in the realm of exhibition and performance. <laughs> it's really very brilliant. It's one of the most challenging things I've ever been asked to work on, but I'm really proud to be a part of it. Bringing it to the people, challenging the machinations of power head on. Wow. It sounds complex. What's the story? I mean, what are the roles? Uh, the story, in simplest terms, is um, the effects of colonialism and its hidden histories and what we can learn by looking at it through contemporary lenses. Oh, wow. That's not what I was expecting. Yeah, well, <laughs> this artist does not shy away from controversial issues. So he's, um, he's not one of these post-apartheid white South Africans who takes a township tour and listens to Corsa music and, and thinks he understands the struggle. It's, it's more than that. Well, that's very brave in this day and age. It's really about presenting a space that's safe enough for the dialogue to happen. So what do you want me to read? Uh, first of all, why don't you just stand up for me? And um, uh, step away from me. Here? Uh, further back. Here. A little more, please. How about now? Is this good? Uh, yes, yes, I'm feeling it. it. It's far away enough to feel safe and threatened at the same time. Safe and threatened? Is that useful? <laughs> is, is that something you want me to convey in the role? Yes. Um, could you give me grave misery? A sort of Lupita look. A Lupita look? Yeah, you know, from the film. I mean, what a fine she is, huh? Yeah, she is. Um, I think I've got it. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Is that what you wanted? Could you do me um, a Viola Davis from... Um, the Help? Uh, no, I was, I was thinking the one that was adapted from a play, but uh, whichever one you know is fine. It's a kind of indifferent melancholy. Indifferent melancholy, you said? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's actually really powerful. Yeah, you obviously have a, a deep reservoir of that stuff. Thank you. This is all very new for me. I've never just had to convey existentialism before in an audition, so. Could you ridicule me? Ridicule you? Well, I, I know it's a little bit unorthodox. Uh, if it's too much of a strain, no. No, no not at all. Uh, the least I can do is try. Um, obviously, anything I say is just for the audition. I'd rather you didn't speak. If you could do it um, just with your eyes. Just with my eyes? Yes, yes, of course. I can do that. Oh, yeah, yeah, you really had me. You made me feel really very small. You know, I almost felt guilty. That wasn't what you wanted? Uh, not that time. If you could try it again and blame me for being displaced from your tribe. I really want you to break me down and, and then smear me with excrements. Break you down? With words? Uh, no words, just eyes. Just eyes. And I'm, I'm going to play some music. Try to be inspired by what you hear. feel about nudity? Is there nudity involved? <laughs> Union pay. There's no negotiation or flexibility on pay there. It's important we understand the power of the naked flesh without putting a price on it. I guess I've always considered that nudity potentially renders the performer vulnerable and powerless. Seems a, a rather immature idea. And my ideas are more in line with the artist. Think of it as Presenting transparency, celebrating the human flesh, shaming the viewer, or even better, making him want you. My feeling is that it realistically depends on the context and concept of the director and how that interpretation empowers the character in the eyes of the viewer or the audience. I'd really like to glance over the script so it's not too cold a reading, if you don't mind. There is no script to this piece. The master manuscript is held by the artist. The exhibits themselves, they don't speak. They communicate, but they don't utter words. They have nothing to say, but they say so much. The exhibits channel the atrocities of the past and, and the present pain of the existence of a group of people. Right. Is this, I'm just, Wondering, you know, you speak very well. Where are you from? Uh, you have citizenship, I take it? Yeah, I'm... What did you just ask me? The artist would rather that you were a newly arrived immigrant, still seeking formal status from your new host nation. It, is that really important? Does that rule me out? It's not completely mandatory. It's just, as you can imagine, some people can carry a chip on their shoulder. You know what I mean. I'm not sure I do. In what way? A sort of militant attitude when it comes to discussing racial politics or colonial history. I mean, it's really very distracting and not very useful for anyone, especially not for the artist. I mean, how can we have a, an open dialogue if you want to shut down exhibit blackness? It, is this the exhibit? That, the exhibit that got shut down in Edinburgh, in Paris? <laughs> I'm auditioning for that now. Yes, 
they just didn't get it. I mean, they were far too sensitive. Some people don't get the art and they don't know how to have a, a dialogue about it's it. It's not art, it's a human zoo, it's racist. To who? Are you serious? The performers felt a real spiritual connection to the parts they played. They felt empowered. Is that the artist's manifesto? To tell black people what to feel empowered about or, or to prey like some predator would on some black people's psychological sense of separation from their heritage. A latent inferiority complex that reinforces the superiority complex of white people to exploit black trauma within the parameters of their white privilege. I think you're overthinking this. Yes, the piece attracts audiences and a critical dialogue as well as campaigners to boycott it. Censorship needs reigning in. I mean, some people just love to follow a trend. Oh, I guess that's what the artist is doing. Following a, a colonial trend and, and dressing it up in some post-colonial reflection. In reality, just propagating a Eurocentric superiority complex. <sighs> Look, we get it, the misinterpretation. It's unfortunate, oh. but, but what we're doing, what the piece is really doing is it's our legacy, our shared history. Uh, is it ugly? Yes. Does it still happen? Yes. Is the history hidden? Yes, it's hidden from the law, from schools, from museums. And what we're saying is these things have a place and that place is in the light. It's our common understanding. But there are no white people in the exhibit. No white performers perpetrating atrocities, exploiting trust. There were, but now they're hidden. After all, it, it isn't about them, it's about the voiceless. And those voiceless, they should have no lines, be devoid of commenting, but they should be paraded around naked and devoid of dignity in your installation of silence. No, their dignity is in their flesh, it, it's in their eyes, in their spirit. Oh, as passive ciphers just exploited exoticism of black bodies for the white gaze, objectification and puerile titillation for white consumption. Look, who am I to make your decision for you? But your involvement in this project could be just the stepping stone that you need to get on. Uh, show the industry that you don't have hangups about race or, or challenging material. Propel yourself into the circles of the right thinkers. Oh. Now, I could also recommend you for a recent response to systemic oppression by the artist. It's um, a woman wearing a T-shirt. It, it's riddled with bullet holes and, and stained with, with real black blood. And on the T-shirt is the hashtag, how many more? You just don't get it. What's to get? If I said the name Menelik, Menelik II. Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah, he's the, um, the outspoken rapper. No, he's not a rapper. Ethiopia's Menelik II. He defeated the Italian invaders in the Battle of Adwa. I've never heard of him. Oh, well, perhaps you might do better with uh, Hendrik Whitboy, the Namibian, who united the Herero and Nama tribes against the Germans and opposed the uh, South African Bantu education system to keep black people subjugated. Or maybe you know about the Abba Women's Revolt. Does Ndata Yalem Bodge conjure an image? Nanny of the Maroons. Uh, Dr. Agostino Nato. The Mao Wow. Ya Asantewa. Chief Makwawa. Any of those come to mind? No. It's hard, isn't it? Is it? Yes. I don't know anything. So I have to come in here to teach you. Look, I'm grateful. Oh, don't say that. Don't patronize me with your guilt. So what do you want me to do then? How do we get it right? Why aren't all those people and all those events in your exhibit? What? <laughs> you think that all those anti-colonial efforts are not strong enough narratives to warrant the same cathartic response? Oh, but you love emotional triggers. Black suffering, dehumanization, pain. Haven't we suffered enough, been exploited enough? Why not bring the souls of, of those great black men and women into the public consciousness? Let them stand 
to challenge racism, your guilt, our collective shame. Oh, but maybe that's too risky. It might incite all those with chips on their shoulders to cry and say, I told you so. This is what we've been saying. Look at our black kings and queens, our, our rebels, who knew what you white people were all about. And look how you tried to wipe them from history through assassination and, and, and exile. Or perhaps it's too sensationalist to think that black people were strong and resilient. They didn't just roll over as you divided to rape, rule and pillaged, commodified and exploited our people and our land. You should be ashamed of yourself for trying to continue to tell me what you think of me, of us, and what I should think of myself. Shame on you for trying to push your savior complex on us. I, I get it, you're upset, but, but I didn't do it. Oh. I, mean, I, I don't benefit from any of it. I, I don't benefit from the exhibits. You do. It's for you and people like you. You're delusional. Thank you.